welcome. This program will guide you through the setup and operation of your new Stryker PowerLoad cot fastener system. The PowerLoad system is highly advanced and gives you the ability to serve your patients better and save yourself from potential injuries. An industry first, PowerLoad improves safety to you and your patients. It is designed to assist the user when lifting or lowering the cot and patient into and out of the ambulance, reducing spinal loads that result in cumulative trauma. It reduces the need to steer the cot into and out of the ambulance and minimizes patient drops by supporting the cot until the wheels are on the ground. This system meets dynamic crash test standards for maximized occupant safety. These design features provide you the power to save. Save yourself and save your career. The power load system allows operators of almost any size to load and unload the cot and a patient up to 700 pounds with less spinal load, reducing the risk of injury. This program is divided into topic segments that you can select individually from a menu. Watch the entire program from beginning to end. Later, select individual segments to refresh your memory. As part of your training, this video should be viewed after watching your specific cot in service DVD and reviewing the operations and maintenance manual. First of all, Notice that all controls are red in color, making them easy to find in a hurry. Additional information is provided in the operations and maintenance manual with step-by-step -step instructions, illustrations, and routine maintenance schedules for your power load system. For patient and operator safety, ensure that all operators have thoroughly read the operation instructions, warnings, and cautions located in your operations and maintenance manual prior to operation. As you go through the following Power Load in Service DVD, there are a few items to keep in mind. This is the component we are referencing when we say Power Load Trolley. This is the component we are referencing when we say Lifting Arms. This is the component we are referencing when we say Power Load Control Panel. This is the component we are referencing when we say Head End LED indicators. This is the component we are referencing when we say Foot End Power Pro Battery Indicator. This is the location we are referencing when we say Head End of the Cot and Power Load System. This is the location we are referencing when we say Foot End of the Cot and Power Load System. The Stryker Power Load System is designed to be fully compatible with cots that have the Power Load compatible option or kit. In certain situations, you can use Power Load as a standard antler for most X frame cots, but a mass casualty wall or floor mount assembly is required. It is important that the power load system is installed and working properly before the product is placed into service. Follow the installation guidelines and checklists provided in the operations and maintenance manual to ensure that you have everything required for installation. Always.
always take time to inspect the vehicle interior and installation of power load. It is important that the product is working properly before it is placed into service. Have a qualified person use the checklist and operation guide instructions provided in the operations and maintenance manual to check power load functionality. Before you can operate the power load system for the first time, you should have a fully charged battery. Ensure that the trolley power is turned on by checking the power load control panel as referenced in the operations and maintenance manual. You should practice using the power load system with an unoccupied cot before attempting to operate with a patient. Always set the load height of your compatible cots with power load prior to placing the vehicle into service. Reference the appropriate compatible cot in service DVD or operations and maintenance manual for instructions on how to set the appropriate cot load height. The power load system has been designed with a control panel located on the patient left hand side with a duplicate LED indicator at the head end of the trolley. These LEDs display the status of the power load battery and system. If the power load system is in transport position, the battery LED will flash green, indicating the battery is being charged. If the power load battery is low, the caution LED will flash amber. If there is a power load error, the caution symbol will be solid amber. If this occurs, power load needs to be taken out of service. Once power load is removed from transport position, the battery LED will change to solid green, indicating there is power. The head end LED indicators are solid green when the cot head end is in position or ready for transport. They will flash amber when the cot head end is not in position or not ready for transport. Power load operation labels are provided and intended to be placed on the inside of the rear doors of the ambulance as a quick reference guide for power load operation. cot fastener system will automatically charge compatible PowerPro cots with smart batteries. Once the cot is in transport position, the PowerPro cot battery indicator will momentarily flash green to signify the PowerPro battery is being charged. Other striker approved batteries can be used with PowerPro, but automatic charging will not occur. The compatible PowerPro cot battery indicator will function as stated in the PowerPro in-service DVD or operations manual. The following segments will guide you through the operation of the power load system with powered and manual compatible cots. You should practice using the power load system with an unoccupied cot before attempting to operate the system with the patient. The power load cot fastener system can support a patient up to 700 pounds plus the weight of the cot. Power load is designed to support the cot and patient throughout the loading and unloading process. Stryker recommends two trained operators with an occupied cot at all times.
The following segment will guide you through the operation of the power load system with a fully functional compatible Power Pro cot and power load system. To load the compatible Power Pro cot, first, guide the power load trolley out of the patient compartment. Raise the lifting arms and guide the trolley out of the ambulance until the head end LED indicators flash amber. Press and hold the plus button on the Power Pro cot until it automatically stops at the load position. Guide the cot into the trolley until it is in position. Note that the head end LED indicators turn solid green when the cot is in position. They will flash amber if the cot is not in position. Press and hold the minus button on the cot until it is supported by the trolley and the undercarriage is fully retracted. Finally, guide the cot into the patient compartment until the lifting arms lower and the cot is in transport position. Be sure the LED indicator at the head end is solid green, indicating that the cot is in position and ready for transport. Flashing amber indicates the cot is not in position or not ready for transport. Ensure that the cot is secure by firmly pulling side to side on the foot end of the cot. Power load automatically charges the PowerPro smart battery when the cot is in transport position. The battery indicator on the PowerPro cot will momentarily flash green to signify charging. To unload the compatible PowerPro cot, first, Press and hold the red release lever at the foot end of the power load system to disengage the cot from the patient compartment. Next, grab the cot at the foot end and guide the cot out of the patient compartment until the head end LED indicators turn solid green. As the cot is removed, the lifting arms will slightly raise the cot to accommodate patient weight and prevent the wheels from interfering with the rear sill plate. If the lifting arms do not raise the cot, both operators must be ready to accept the weight of the cot and patient. Next, press and hold the plus button on the PowerPro cot until the cot undercarriage is fully extended with the wheels on the ground. The operator may release the plus button once the cot is no longer supported by the power load lifting arms. The lifting arms will continue moving until they have lowered completely. There are two ways to release the cot from the trolley. The foot end operator can press the third small red button on one of the cot controls and guide the cot out, or the side operator can disengage one of the red manual cot release handles on the top of the trolley as both operators guide the cot out. To secure the ambulance, raise the lifting arms and guide the trolley into the patient compartment until it no longer interferes with the ambulance doors. To load a compatible manual cot into an ambulance with power load, first guide the trolley out of the patient compartment. Raise the lifting arms and guide the trolley out of the ambulance until the head end LED indicators flash amber. Raise the cot to the load position. Guide the cot into the trolley until it is in position. Note that the head end LED indicators turn solid green when the cot is in position. They will flash amber if the cot is not in position. The side operator will press and hold the up arrow button on the power load control panel to raise the lifting arms to the highest position. The foot end operator will now grasp the cot frame at the foot end and squeeze and hold the manual release on the cot. The side operator stabilizes the cot with one hand and retracts the undercarriage with the other. Release the cot's manual release to lock the undercarriage in the retracted position. Ensure that the cot's manual release is released. If it is not released, the cot base will extend, preventing the cot from locking in the fastener. And finally, guide the cot into the patient compartment until the lifting arms lower and the cot is in transport position. 
Be sure the LED indicator at the head end is solid green, indicating that the cot is in position and ready for transport. Flashing amber indicates that the cot is not in position or not ready for transport. Ensure that the cot is secure by firmly pulling side to side on the foot end of the cot. To unload the manual compatible cot, first, press and hold the red release lever at the foot end of the power load system to disengage the cot from the patient compartment. Next, grab the cot frame at the foot end and guide the cot out of the patient compartment until the head end LED indicators turn solid green. As the cot is removed, the lifting arms will slightly raise the cot to accommodate the patient's weight and prevent the wheels from interfering with the rear silt plate. If the lifting arms do not raise the cot, both operators must be ready to accept the weight of the cot and the patient. The foot end operator will now grasp the cot frame and squeeze and hold the release handle. At the same time, the side operator will grasp the base of the frame, lift slightly, and lower it to its fully extended position. The foot end operator will let go of the manual release and ensure that the undercarriage locks into place. The side operator will press and hold the down arrow button on the power load control panel until the lifting arms have lowered completely. Next, release the cot by disengaging one of the red manual release handles on the top of the trolley. To secure the ambulance, raise the lifting arms and guide the trolley into the patient compartment until it no longer interferes with the ambulance doors. A list of approved cleaning products for use on the power load cot fastener system is included in the operations and maintenance manual. All surfaces can be power washed. Always press the power load master on off switch to the off position. And the master vehicle power should also be off before service or cleaning. Follow the manufacturer's exact recommendations for diluting the cleaning solution. Also, take care that your unit does not stay wet longer than the chemical manufacturer's guidelines for proper disinfecting. And finally, rinse your power load system with clean water. Then dry it thoroughly. A preventative maintenance program should also be implemented for your power load cot fastener system. The Operations and Maintenance Manual has information that will help you establish a preventative maintenance schedule. You will also find a series of checklists for operators to use that will help track preventative maintenance activities. Of course, the frequency of preventative maintenance depends on the amount of use. Stryker Power Load Cot Fastener System has been ergonomically designed to reduce injuries for the medic and patient. The reduction in spinal load helps prevent cumulative trauma injuries. Power Load wirelessly communicates with PowerPro Cots for ease of operation and maximum operator convenience. The Power Load Control Panel allows operation in the event of cot or power load system errors. Stryker has designed the power load system to comply with dynamic crash test standards and the federal specification for the Star of Life Ambulance Purchasing Specification. The Operations and Maintenance Manual provides a complete list of certifications.
for questions about the operation or maintenance of your power load cot fastener system. Please refer to your operations and maintenance manual or contact your striker account manager at 1-800-784-4336.